Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we are going to discuss the 100 year of Jallianna Bag massacre and the fact that the British have yet to express anything beyond a rather bland regret for what happened as if it was a meteor strike or shall we say an earthquake and they did not have an, any agency regarding that. Dilaljan, uh, to discuss this and you have been I would not say student of history, but you have been a journalist with a deep interest in history. Right. Keen interest. Keen interest in history. Yes. How do you see the politics of a regret which does not talk about who it was done by? And I would like you to think about the fact that once the, once the High Court case was there on the Mau Mau massacre mm -hmm. by people who were asking for reparations, mm -hmm. Actually, the British government, the foreign minister, mm. ex gave a formal apology on behalf of the British crown mm. to the Mau Mau victims. Why is that, unless they are forced, they really don't want to go beyond that? Well, I think, uh, you know, the British definitely have their own way of expressing things, you know, when it comes to India. You know, they think that Indians would possibly settle for... Uh, Less. Less. You know, that is the impression. And also in the last five years, let's be very clear, you know, had it not been for two MPs from the Congress party, possibly the British wouldn't even have made the statement. Our political leadership in this country has been busy with, uh, you know, getting kudos for themselves, you know, not to use this opportunity to realize that the centenary of the Jaliawala Bagh was coming. Yeah, they did not use at any point, this government did not utilize whatever India's growing clout, which is Tom Tom in the course of the elections, to use this as to extract an apology. The Canadians did it for the Komagata Maru uh, incident. Uh, but you know, it's interesting that uh, Modi is getting uh, some awards, which is the order of uh, the patron saint, patron saint of. Orthodox Church, and in the and and at the same time, the first version of the BJP manifesto left out Christians and Parsis from those who would be given citizenship. You know, a clear divergence from the citizenship bill, which has just been passed in Lok Sabha and is pending, and is one of the major planks. Planks. So, from Russia, this is this is what Modi has extracted, an order which is the highest award given. In fact, it was suspended during, the, it was abolished during the time of Soviet Union uh, and has been brought back by Putin. It's something which goes off, goes back about 400 years. Okay. Similarly, you have South Korea, some award has been given. Mm. But an apology, that was too much to ask, was it? Mm. Definitely, you know, and there's something also very similar. I was actually looking at Theresa May's statement and I was, with two points, you know, one is that it's a very weak statement, that's what you said, you know, it was not, just a regret, you know. Does not and it doesn't even say it who also did it. does not accept British culpability. Exactly. Incident hua tha, you know, something happened. You know, as I was reading it, I just decided that let me mentally take off that it's Teresa May making the statement in the context of Jali Aulabag. How many times, Prabir, in the last five years, have these kind of statements been made against violence of possibly the most gruesome nature taking place against our own people and how the BJP and its leaders have acted? Something happened, you know, very recently in February after the Pulwama attack, you know, the Kashmiri students were being attacked everywhere. So the statement made the same thing, that aisa nahi hona chahiye, something like this should not happen. Uh, it is uh, very unfortunate that it has happened and something has happened. We express regret. No there agent. is no... No agent. The, 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 who did it? Who did it? No. And also no expression of an apology to the people that you have taken great risks by coming out of Kashmir to study here, which means that you're adhering commitment to the Indian Republic against whatever is the situation in Kashmir. So instead of applauding them, you're sending them back with nothing to really cherish. So this is par for the course in I that sense. So. But you know, let's for the time being take out the current dispensation. Right. But if we look at the colonial history, and it's not the colonial history in India alone, in different right. parts of the world, but in India we have another glaring example, which is the 1943 yes. famine, you know. And if you remember, 43 famine again, only regret uh, that that time Churchill even commented, too many Indians, if they die, what's the problem? And why is Gandhi not dying? Why is he still alive? 
if so many people are dying. That was the, but this and the 43 famine are two instances. British have only said, you know, it, they are sorry this happened, but they have not said that they had yes. any role in it. Yes, in fact, these two incidents, if you look at the entire colonial history, you'll find that globally this was possibly among the most prominent uh, incidents about which uh, contemporary Britain should be completely ashamed of, but they aren't. This is, this is where an unarmed crowd was fired upon, Jalyana Bagh, as we all know, but, and the soldiers fired till they ran out of ammunition. Just, I think, in one well, 120 bodies were pulled out, right. and that was the extent of the massacre, that fire till you run out of bullets. Mm -hmm. And the guns were too hot to hold. Those right. are exactly. those are the pictures that no, we even have. Even today, on there is not a real definitive history about what really happened on that day. You know, because you had two commissions. You know, at that time you had one by the appointed by the British, and the other was you know by the Congress Party. They came you know different approaches, speaking to only their own people. You know, to 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 use that particular word, their own people. So as a result of which, we do not have a clear, coherent picture. In fact, the world. The, the images of Jallianwala Bagh is known to the world through uh, Richard Attenborough as well. There is also something very important. You know, I think you know it's in today's India. It is very important to recollect not just today's India, but also globally what is happening. This entire violence, you know, attack on on the right to protest, you know, to dissent, freedom of speech. You know, if you look at why was Dyer so angry with these people. Because they are not listening to us, they are not obeying the order that has been given, which is to shut up, not to express any resentment. That was the basic anger against them. Protesting is around yes, that protest. act. Now, interestingly, that Gandhi, in his responses, right till the time that Dyer was alive, till 1927, he kept saying that we should not encourage Dyerism in any way. And he kept on arguing that he was just symptomatic of a larger problem you know it is not that instead of individually looking and blaming him for what had happened but you have to ensure that you take out that intolerant streak within you i think that is very important globally we are seeing that while everyone is demanding that we we either condemn you apologize express regret but every political leader most of them who are populist leaders whether in india or whether in other countries they're all practicing in some way or the other diarism. You don't agree with me, which means that we'd put you in a black hole. You know, of course, we'll not talk about the black hole because we just got a picture of the black hole, but <laughs> leaving that out. Jalena Bagh, Bagh massacre. There are two other elements of the Jalena Bagh massacre I would like you to sort of respond to. One was the first award wapsi in India. Exactly. was really that. Ravindranath Thakur, returning his knighthood. Yes. And for those who complain about Award Wapsi, which took place after various attacks, lynchings, and so right. on, it's unfortunate. Kalburgi's murder was also the other uh, trigger for the exactly. return of the awards. The Award Wapsi is also tied up to the Jalyodabag because right. it was Tagore's return of the award, which also gave it a far bigger, at that time, you know, uh, legitimacy that, okay, people have protested, we have to now protest. Massacres have taken place, we have now to protest. And it virtually, Jalyana Bagh was the trigger for a much larger mass movement much, in the country. Much larger mass movement at that time. In fact, while, uh, you know, after you said that you wanted to discuss Jalyana Bagh, so I was just kind of reading up and I decided to just once again read uh, Tego's letter when he referred what Two paragraphs really struck me, you know, I just want to share it with you and also the viewers, you know. Uh, Tagore in his letter said, you know, the time has come when badges of honor make our shame glaring in their incongruous context of humiliation and I, for my part, wish to stand shorn of all special distinctions by the side of my countrymen. Just a couple of sentences prior to that, he said, the very least that I can do for my country is to take all consequences upon myself in giving voice to the protest of the millions of my countrymen surprised into a dumb anguish of terror. You know, possibly the finest words that you can actually say, you know, to, to tell the British 
empire that I don't want your knighthood. And, and I stand with the poorest of the poor, the most oppressed. Someone who is just expressing not even a political right, but just to celebrate the annual Baisakhi Day. True. And of course, the voice of the writers who in 2015 returned their awards. Yeah. The very, you know, sim simple and equally and powerful. And look at it, you know, award wapsi gang, you know, the people using have no sense of it's history. You know, I was telling you about, I just want to come back, I just made a couple of other notes, you know, also when I was telling about Gandhi and saying, you know, that I, he did not want to encourage diarism by any way, by uh, turning his face completely from dire. Now, he said certain other very interesting things in the context of Jaliwala Bagh. One is that he drew, it, you have to give it to Gandhi that you could, he could draw parallels from anything, you know. So, he drew a comparison between the General Dyer's act and the murder of people in the name of cow uh, protection. Now, he said, you know, that many Hindus believe that it is proper to kill a man who wants to kill a cow and he will quote scripture for his defense and many other Hindus would be found to justify his action. But strangers who do not accept the sacredness of a cow will hold it preposterous to kill a human being for the sake of slaying an animal. He also told Catherine Mayo, you know, who wrote about Gandhi extensively, I want this country to be spared of diarism. I, th that is, I do not want my country when it has the power to resort to frightfulness in order to impose her custom on others. Now, this, this, this is that, you know, today. yeah, you know, when I read these things, you know, I was, you know, felt that, you know, this is very important to recollect, not just Tagore, but also Gandhi in the context of what the parallels that he was drawing, that how can you be so against people who are, who have a different point of view? And we have a disagreement with Dyer, but let us not look at him only in isolation. We have to look at him as a product of the system which has bred people like that. I think you have to give it to... And them. also the precise nature of the statement, because when you talk about intolerance, both of the rulers and those who the rulers are supporting, you see very close parallels today. And also the resistance, award Bapsi being only one of it. I'd like to come to the other, shall we say, inspiration that Jaliyana Bagh Jaliwalalabad provided, which is uh, Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh was 12 years old. Yes. He went there, collected blood and dirt from the soil of Jaliwalabad. Right. And then he kept it with him as a symbol of what right. the what Jaliwalabad to him represented. And he was, for him, it was an inspiration for his resistance, uh, which he then pursued. Absolutely. You know, people look, took away a lot of Lessons for the future. In fact, we can say that Jaliwala Bagh, had it not happened, maybe 1947 wouldn't have been in 1947. Could have been a, Could have been a few later. years later. You know. So there is a, you know, it provided a trigger. You know, you had said, you know, that after Jaliwala Bagh massacre, the kind of debate it generated, it led to the first real mass movement in this country, uh, non-cooperation. Uh, and uh, Khilafat movement together. Now, that is also the time when... We had 1905, which was the Bonga Bhanga Sudeshi movement. But time. it did not have the kind of pan-Indian pan sweep that post Jalivana Bagh had. Also, possibly, it was not so socially inclusive. True. Because we have noted that during the Sudeshi movement, especially, there had been a lot of Hindu imagery which came out, which possibly did not make it as inclusive an agitation as it may possibly have been. But that apart, uh, definitely 1919, 1920, you know, it really set uh, the, you know, also created the basic distinctions. The Indian right wing became pronouncedly right and identifiable as a right wing through the process of which emerged from the Jaliyanwala Bagh. If you remember, in 1919, a few months after, there was a special session of, uh, of the Congress in Amritsar. Now, at that particular point, there were uh, there was a fairly strong, visible Hindu nationalistic uh, section within the Congress Party led by Tilak and 
various uh, others who supported the Tilakites, they participated in it and it was decided that the, the 1920 session is going to be held in, in Nagpur. So, they came back with B. S. Munje, Hedgevar was also a participant in uh, the Amritsar uh, Congress. They came back and with the intention of making Tilak the president because they were not comfortable at that point with uh, the kind of hobnobbing, if I can to use the word at that time, what Gandhi was doing with the Khilafat Congress leaders. If they could not have Tilak because he, you know, Tilak died and so. So then Munje and Hedgevar went to Pondicherry to try convincing Aurobindo to become the, uh, the president of uh, the, the Nagpur Congress. But he turned down the offer. He said that, look, I am not interested. So they came back, they were a bit uh, unhappy. That is the time when Hedgevar and Munje start really moving away from the Gandhian Congress, to, to, so, so to say. And then, of course, the famous riots in Nagpur in 1924, which also Savarkar coming out with a treatise called Hindu, you know, who is a Hindu. Yeah, you can see so, this change as a national so, so, movement. So, Jaliawala Bagh, you know, in a way was a provided a trigger. You know, there's this poems which have been published recently as Khuni Vaishakhi. Yes. And, uh, of course, it was by a person who underwent the at that time the shootings because he was buried under dead bodies and he came out and never talked about it again but he wrote down these mm -hmm. poems. But it's also a very powerful imagery that he presents in his poems of Hindu Muslim Sikhs being together in Jalianabad mm -hmm. and also that Saifuddin Kichlu yes. who was otherwise you know, would have been today mm -hmm. considered an anti-national Muslim mm -hmm. was actually the leader of the movement at that time. So those are the kind of things which is a history that the right wing today does not want to remember. Probably in what line with what you're calling revival of diarism and intolerance. And that's what seems to be at the moment exactly. the threat we face. Thank yeah. you Nilanjan for being with Thank us you, and at sharing with us a lot of this information which I think 100 years down the line we need to remember and celebrate again. Thank you for watching NewsClick. Do keep watching our YouTube channel. Also visit our website.